My name is Randy Katalik. I'm from Iglulik, Nunavut. And tell me about your participation in, in, in the NCCIE project. Why did you participate? Why, was it, why is it important for you to be in this project? With NCCIE, um, I'm a researcher. Uh -huh. So I go around Nunavut communities and re interview different educators and elders in indigenous <clears throat> indigenous education mm -hmm. and it's important for me because I'm in the teacher education program in Nunavut and studying to become a teacher it's going into my I'm going into my fourth year this coming fall so I want to bring as much um, Inuit culture into our education system as I can and be an advocate for indigenous education and anywhere I want to teach in Nunavut. Why is it so important for you? Because um, back around 100 to 50 years ago, um, we were forced to, in a cultural transmission, more specifically a diffusion with uh, modern Western culture. So we lost the context of our education. We didn't lose our upbringing because in our home, when we go back home, we still speak our language and we'll, we are still raised to go out and hunt. But in the education, that's not our choice. Um, we are taught by Caucasian people mostly, or Southerners, or not Inuit. So I want to see more Inuit in our education system. And when I was younger in elementary school, I could hear my classmates saying, why should I listen to you? This isn't the Inuit way of learning. This is not our way of living why should i listen to you mm -hmm. so we need more indigenous education in our school systems and we can do that we just need to begin it um, with like social studies we can learn about inuit morals family roles inuit traditional names of geography mm -hmm. biology and inuktitu and also it's like gym, physical education, um, it's mostly encompassed around bi biology, health, f physical, which is fine motor movement, along with gross motor movement. And in the Inuit culture, the women often so using their fine motor skills and the men go out hunting using their legs and spearing animals and that's physical education right there and they're out in nature too so they're always walking they're always their heart rate is up and with like english too um i can see like more emphasis in our language in Inuktitut being taught, like, for instance, the way we pronounce certain letters, like ka, it's more towards the back of our glottal um, area in our throats. Inuit students can learn things like that, and that would help them learn our language even better. As a future educator, what have you learned from the elders that you, you will transmit to your future students? If I was a, a student in Randy's class in, in five years, what am I going to, what are you going to teach me that, that you've learned doing this work? What I've learned throughout my whole life is the Inuit character. I'm a quiet person. I'm an honest person. When I speak, um, I try to speak with importance and significance. Um, like um, being proud. Yeah. Of being Inuit. No. No. I try not to be proud. 
because I know um, it's that we need to be pride, pride, proudful in our culture. But at the same time, one of our principles is which is being, um, living in harmony with each other, with everyone. So at the same time, I need to respect different ethnicities, not only Inuit eth ethnical cultural values. For instance, when I was packing, I was going to bring my sealskin vest to her to this conference, but I forgot to bring it. So I was, I felt bad for a second, but when I got here, I realized it's not just us Inuit, it's also um, First Nations, Métis, Cree, Caucasians, Afis, and there are many different trees, many different cultures, and each tree <clears throat> bears different fruits, apples, oranges, pears, and those fruits are like students, and the trees are the culture, the teachers. And I saw a fire being lit um, to the tree, which is colonization the destruction of our culture, our education, our upbringing. And I saw it being destroyed in pieces, burnt down. And afterward, the pieces of wood rose in ashes. So there's, the ashes are spread out all across Canada for indigenous people in broken pieces, burnt down, exhausted, but at the same time with us, our initi initiative with NCCIA, NCCIE coming together, telling our stro stories. By doing that, we're collecting those pieces and bringing them together back to a tree so that we can once again practice our culture. But at the same time, ashes can dissolve into the air and become a substance that gives life, fresh air, um, energy. But that air is an accumulation of not just Inuit culture in wood that is dissolved. It's also tree, metis, Caucasian, African American, Asian, that we all live in harmony together. Of all the people that you've met, you've met many people that I'm sure that taught you a lot. What's the, the interview or the, the, the one that kind of comes to mind if I say NCCIE, what comes to mind? The one that kind of, oh yeah, I remember that, that interview, it just blew me away. When I interviewed this one elder, she said, I wish there were more Inuit programs in our communities. And she was not aware of our initiative and what we were doing. What we were doing is we were gathering stories of indigenous programs across Nunavut. And there are already programs in our culture that teach Inuit education, but it's not spread out across Nunavut. It might be happening in one community for like preschool students, but in another community it's towards adults, in another community it's towards teenagers. What we need to do with the stories we gather is communicate to the public saying this is happening in our communities. It's different from 50 years ago. There's more cultural programs, but you're not aware of it. You're, you're wishing that there's more Inuit programs, but there are. We just need to communicate with each other and expand those programs across each community and work together. Okay, is there anything else you want to add? Um, That's a, you think it's important that people know? I'm grateful that NCCIE took me along with initi this initiative because um, I'm passionate for our people and
I want to be a fine representation of an Inuit youth who um, live the Inuit way and teach younger generations how we live as Inuit. Thank you. Mm -hmm.